Hey guys and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So in this video I'm going to show you all how to link two source code files with the C programming language. Alright, so here I have one of my source code files. It's called main.c, so it's a C file. And we have our libraries here. And then we have a function here called second that returns nothing because it's void and also takes in no parameters because that's void as well. And then within this code we have our main function here. And within the main function, we have our print statement, printf, and it only prints this statement is from the main program. And then we have a call to our function called second here. And then we return zero when we're done running the program. So you may notice though, that we never create our second function. You know, we don't know what this second function does. Well, that's because the second function was created in another source code file. So another C file, which I have here is called second.c. And you can see here I have my library, include stdio.h. And then we have our function that we've created, the void second function here in, this, in the second.c file. All right, and within this function, we have a print statement and the print statement prints, this print statement is from the second program. All right, and then there's no, main function at all here. So I'm going to show you guys how to link these two files so that we could just call this second function from another C file. All right. So first thing we're going to do is open up our command prompt. And then we need to go to where we have these two source code files saved. So I have it saved on my desktop. So I'm going to use a command called CD, which stands for uh, change directory. And then we're going to go to my desktop where I have both of these files at. Okay. Now, within here, we're going to use another command, GCC, which is the C compiler. And we're going to type in the name of our main code, which is main.c. We're going to type in the name of our second file, which is called second.c. And then dash O. And then we're going to tell it... Um, the, the executable file that we want, or the executable file name that we want that will also be on the desktop as well. So I'm going to call that combine or combined. All right, I'm going to press enter here. And now, like it's done. So now on my desktop, I should have a combine.c executable file, and I do here. So to run that file, I could double click it. But what I'm going to do is run it here on the command prompt because if I click it, it's just going to flash out because I have nothing saying pause, you know, pause for the print statement here. So I'm going to type combined here and it should run our program and let's see what it runs. All right, so we ran combined here and it says this statement is from the main program like we expect it from our source code. And then here we have this print statement is from this second program just like we expected. So we have combined these two um, C files together into one program, one executable file. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be sure to put a uh, uh, put the, the, the code, the command that you need for this to work in the description below. Um, please don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and don't forget to share it if you found it helpful and maybe other people found it helpful and leave likes, comments, and as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.